Hi, welcome back. In this review, we'll be looking at Roborax latest stick vacuum, the H7. This model is an upgrade over the previous H6 variant with some interesting features we'll look at in a bit. One of which is its dual-purpose bagged and bagless functionality. So I've spent the past few days testing this stick vacuum to determine if these claims are valid. Full disclosure, Roborax sent me this product for free to test, but as you'll see in my previous reviews, I base my findings on test results to be as objective as possible. And I'll reveal both the good and bad in this review, so let's get into it. Despite having the same external design cues as the H6, the H7 is more than a refresh. Roborock beefed up the H7, both in size and power, with a 20% increase in dirt volume and 10 more air watts than the H6. Airflow instruction tests confirm this increase as the H7 has up to 14% more airflow and a whopping 48% increase in the suction test using a water lift gauge. Even with the size increase, there's only a slight uptick in weight, a little over an ounce, so it maintains its lightweight form factor, making it very ergonomic for handheld use. The H7 retains the standard cleaning head as the H6. Unfortunately, the soft roller isn't available in the package, but will be as an add-on accessory. Out of the box, consumers will get these tools and accessories that include a crevice tool, brush attachment, mini turbo brush, and a flexible hose attachment, usable with any non-powered tool. These accessories are magnetized, so it's possible to stick them on a charging dock or a metal surface like this refrigerator. Another notable addition is this insert and bag that converts this bagless vacuum into a bagged vacuum. Its ability to function in both configurations is an industry first and provides consumers an option to use the bag if they're concerned about allergen exposure. This model has the same OLED screen as the H6, which I like as it provides excellent contrast and readability. It displays data such as runtime status, current power mode, and whether or not the trigger lock is active. The H7 also retains the lithium polymer battery that Roborock says is engineered for a long life and now has a faster recharge time of just 2.5 hours, 37% faster than the H6. Runtime stays the same with the claimed figure of 90 minutes. This brings me to the first thing I like about this vacuum, the extended runtime. I tested the H7 in its various configurations and it lasted up to 78 minutes with the main cleaning head and over 90 minutes with the crevice tool. Recharge time is equally as impressive at just 2.5 hours, or 37% faster than the H6, and I've verified this with my own tests, so there's no need to wait as long. These are impressive figures from a single battery, plus the lightweight form factor that helps a great deal with maneuverability and ergonomics, which is the next pro. The H7 weighs a little over 3 pounds and 3 ounces, which is lightweight considering it has a large capacity battery. Combine this lightweight frame with a compact body, and the H7 becomes one of the best stick vacuum options for handheld use in cramped spaces. I'd prefer to use this over the Dyson V7 or V8 as a handheld because of its smaller frame. The suction increase also makes the H7 better at vacuuming carpet based on cleaning tests. It had higher scores across the board, both surface and deep cleaning. It picked up an average of 96% in deep cleaning tests on 100 grams of sand on mid pile carpet. One of the best results from a cordless stick vacuum and close to 10% better than the H6. While the standard nozzle can clean hard surface as well, it isn't as efficient as a soft roller attachment, and there was one instance where it snow plowed this quicker oat pile. It did well in the edge cleaning test, where it only needed a few passes to clear this area. However, it didn't pick up everything on this quarter inch crevice. Surprisingly, it did better at resisting tangles on carpet as it did on hard surfaces. On hard floors, 9 inch hair strands wrap on the brush, but the limit on carpet was 12 inches. I think perhaps carpet strands provided additional friction on the brush to untangle hair. Regardless, it's an excellent option to consider for cleaning pet hair on carpet. Despite not having Dyson's hygienic system, hair stays on the lower end below the mesh filter, but you'll have to pull hair out by hand as it sticks on this plastic piece. The H7 doubles as a bagged vacuum thanks to this insert where users can attach a bag, and it comes with two of these out of the box. It's an option for users who are allergen averse and don't want exposure to dust clouds. However, the downside is the lower capacity than other bagged vacuums, which necessitates more frequent bag replacements. Steering is decent thanks in large part to the lightweight frame and trigger lock that doesn't require users to squeeze the trigger for the motor to run. But it doesn't turn as smoothly or as sharply as a Dyson, which isn't necessarily a con since most other brands don't. The soft roller will steer better, but unfortunately, it's an add-on and not included in the package. This stick vacuum isn't perfect, and these are some of the things I didn't like, and I'll start with filtration. 
One tool I like to use to check filtration is a fog machine. It provides a visual cue if the vacuum can hold fog inside the dustbin. This experiment tests not only filtration but also the seals around the dustbin and filter. The H7 initially held up well with no visible leaks but eventually it did, though not as heavily as a cheaper stick vacuum. It leaks slightly at the bottom and top where the HEPA filter is located. Next concern is a lack of a soft roller. It's not a pickup issue but more of a usability and efficiency concern. While Roborock's standard brush attachment is good on hard surfaces, it doesn't steer as smoothly as a soft roller and isn't as efficient with debris pickup. Another feature I didn't like would be the non-detachable battery. So if it fails, there's no way of replacing it aside from sending it back to Roborock for repairs. Roborock says that they've designed their battery to be long-lasting, and that seems to be the case with the H6. It's one of my go-to cordless vacuums for handheld use, and the battery has held up well. Lastly is the noise. I tested it in all power modes, and it exceeded 70 decibels in all three. To conclude this review, the H7 is definitely an improvement over the H6 with more power, a larger dustbin, plus the option to be used as a bagged or bagless vacuum. It's one of the better carpet cleaning stick vacuums, a notch higher than the Dyson V8 but with slightly inferior steering and filtration. If you don't mind these limitations, then it's an excellent option to consider. I was hoping that Roborock include a soft roller attachment which would have provided users with more value but as it stands, it's still a very good product overall. Let me know what you think about the Roborock H7 in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful to you and consider giving it a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.